We don't usually manage to do this stuff. Uh, we don't usually manage to do this stuff. We celebrate with, with the other people that makes us happy in our life. Because festa, we should be happy. Thank you. the lack of resources during disaster relief. The Constitution should empower us to allocate sufficient funds during disaster preparedness, with this ensuring that every people in our community could live a fulfilling and prosperous life. Thank you. Well, I'm most excited about seeing the people celebrating Fiesta religiously because that's the true essence of Fiesta, celebrating it religiously through the celebrant of the So, I'll give you 30 seconds to answer. Asha, your hashtag is hashtag number seven. Hashtag number seven. It is hashtag criminal punishments. Hashtag criminal punishments. We have 30 seconds. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe criminal punishment. We do have these laws. As we say, ignorance by the law excuses no one. So we, for those criminals who have committed a crime, they must be punished according to the law. We should not extend punishments through our own opinion because we have law enforcers that make this law so that they will be able to be punished according to our law. Now we all think. Since we are here in Rome, this is Lord Manoa. If you were to tour our audience in the Rome's story, where would be the first place you should go in the Rome's story? Agreement to the Rome's story market because I believe that every family here in this community deserves the basic right to have an accessible and nutritious food. Rome's story market. How do we get you in of course, uh, meat for protein for the diet and vegetables to balance out the protein intake. Oh. So, so meat is actually a thing. So, what am I doing? So, we are not able to support our new passion of the world today, okay? We chose hashtag number 10. Okay, hashtag number 10. Hashtag number 10 is hashtag global crisis. With the problems arising left and right here in our country and also in our world. We need to take our step and speak for the causes of UAB because we are just talking without taking space and having our actions. It is, our, it, is, it is about time to put actions first before our talks because I believe that we need to walk our talk. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sunday, 2024, so we'll be doing that. 
Well, my investing. Yeah, my investing tayo, di ba? Marami nagtatanong ng mga foreigners at mga from the global city about the word Sanyo. What is Sanyo? Can you explain to our foreigner friends and mga non-Tagloban residents? Sanyo itself is Pagsigaw. Telling the world that we have this culture, have this identity that make us Tagloban. So Sanyo is the next shout to them. So, we're going to shout the next hashtag. Okay? We're going to have a hashtag for Christ. You got hashtag number six. Hashtag number six is hashtag health issues. Go, Christ, in 30 seconds. One of the problems that we're having right now is the HIV. HIV spread is here in the global city. And I want to have a voluntary or mandatory testing in this. But though I believe it's not about a mandatory or voluntary testing, but to uphold the rights of every individual, if we take the test, then we stay alive. If we face, if we decline, then we face death. In essence, it is all about having this to cater the needs and also to stop the, the, the spreadness of this virus. Thank you. If you were to afford our new guests, ito sa Tagloban, saan mo sila unang tatanggit? The place of Hotel Alejandro. Because as you can see, Hotel Alejandro is the oldest hotel here in Tagloban City. So, so hotel na ang gratis. So, para na ka. Okay, first, kasi Hotel Alejandro is like the Pasillo, the Plaza, the Tour, di ba? It's an historical place. Okay, tiga lagi. Jadi pasca bawa morning. Mayan. Okay, then you choose pasca number nine. Your pasca number nine is pasca quality education. Access to quality education enables children to develop and equip with skills, knowledge, and attitude. Educated children have more confidence in their abilities. I believe quality education is a cornerstone to a thriving and progressive society. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is candidate number 10, Marvin Okay, so of course, we want to promote our own language, why why language, So if you were to invite individuals, if you were to invite our non-Tagloban friends, and why why friends, can you invite them in why why? Why are you going to visit Tagloban? Why are you going to visit Tagloban? Why are you going to visit Tagloban? Ramoy ko na ang atraksyon, ang atraksyon ng Nibal, ang atraksyon ng mga ganit mga iba't ibang aktis sa mga para at atang kayo tayo ng entertainment. Now, we're going to do it. Ang ganda na pag-inda talaga ng mga 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 this is a very timely hashtag because that is what is happening between Israel and Gaza and there are a lot of affected civil war that is happening here, especially us, in which it doesn't just affect us, but it affects us mentally and those children who are experiencing it. And, it. and I think it is time for us to complete the spirit of camaraderie in order to potentially eradicate war because women and children are suffering and for that we can have a better society in which we promote the culture of peace. Thank you so much. I think that's candidate number 11. Thank you so much, Ken. Give me time to prepare a backstage. 
We don't tend to listen to those who are talking. We tend to cut them off and don't respect what their views and opinions are. So I guess it is time for us to listen and evaluate everything with our hearts because everyone do deserve the respect because everyone is the person who is free to have an opinion. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kevin. Number 14, Julio Ramirez. Now, 
I believe that the guys or men in Tagloban are resilient because whatever adversities we face, we still strive for the better and become the best version, if not the best, the better versions of ourselves. Thank you. Okay, it's hashtag anti-drugs campaign. Your favorite sign is Hashtag anti-drugs campaign. I stand for anti-drugs campaign because drugs does not only affect mentally and physically as a person, but it also affects the men, the family and the communities around the world. And I want to be here in front of you all, I stand here in front of you all, to be an instrument, an exponent of change. And I want to remind you all that that our lives are the greatest endowment of God and that we should preserve it and not. Okay, thank you so much again. Oh, oh, thank you. Take care. I'm all here. 